Now I've switched to the PD PC display. I'm running Ubuntu Linux and I've opened a terminal window. I'll start the communications program Minicom. I have it set up for um, communicating with port uh, DEV TTYS0, essentially the same as COM1 on a PC. And the communications parameters are 9600 baud uh, with 8-bit uh, words, um, no parity, and one stop bit. Now I'll take the Z80 computer out of reset. And you see the greetings message coming from the Z80 computer and a prompt for entering commands. So if you type help, it will give you a list of the commands that are implemented in the monitor program. And uh, we'll go through the dump, load, and a jump or run command. Jump and run do the same thing. Question mark and help also do the same thing. First, let's look at the dump command. You enter an address as a hexadecimal number, and it'll display 256 bytes of data that are located starting at that address. So let's look at 0, which is the start of the ROM. And you can see this is the data that's stored in the ROM. You may recognize, if you're familiar with the ROM, the uh, instruction to jump over the uh, message, which is here, uh, to this area, which um, is the code that retrieves the address uh, from the input switches and jumps to it. And you might recognize here, starting at 001F, the port reflector program. If we look at a block of memory in RAM, starting at 0800, uh, you see essentially garbage. These uh, data bytes are what the RAM contains after being powered on. Uh, to demonstrate the load command, let's clear out the first three lines of RAM uh, using the load command. Uh, we will start at address 0800, the beginning of RAM, and let's just put uh, zeros in there. When you enter the zeros, um, it configures them in the same way as it would with the dump in this block of 16 bytes each. Hit return, and the, that data is entered into the memory of the Z80. If you look at this area again now, you'll see the first three lines of zeros uh, have been entered. Now I'll use the load command to enter a very simple program into the RAM. Uh, we'll load it at the same place, 0800. The program I've already assembled by hand is a very simple one. Uh, we use caps lock to make sure we have uppercase uh, numerals A through F for the hexadecimal. The first instruction is 3EFF. This codes for load the accumulator with the value FF. The next instruction, 321008, uh, codes for um, load memory location 0810 with the value that's in the accumulator. And the last instruction, C3, C904, is a jump to the warm start address of the monitor program. Now if we examine this area of memory with the dump command, oh, forgot to take out the caps lock, um, we will see the uh, program that we just entered uh, sitting right here. And I want you to notice that location 0810 contains the value 00. Now if we run this program with the run command, we just enter the address where we want to start. 
and it runs and jumps back to the monitor warm start which gives you the uh, prompt. Now if we look at the same area of memory you can see that memory location 0810 now contains the value FF so we know that the program ran appropriately. Um, this concludes the demonstration of the dump uh, load and run commands and shows you what you can do through the keyboard entering simple programs. Um, the other commands that are implemented, the B load and B dump commands are for loading and dumping binary files and this is the subject of another video. Thanks.